Hello to all order squadron, welcome to my show. Some of you may follow me on Instagram, well you should do because I've plugged it enough in the channel for you to go follow me, but I do a lot of fitness, I partake in fitness, I enjoy fitness, and in this lockdown quarantine time, gyms are shut, everything's shut, skate parks are shut, we can't go out there, we can't have fun. People are just like, what shall I do? And I wanna keep you strong, fit and healthy to get back on that bike as quickly as possible. Basically, I'm gonna run through five exercises you can do anywhere in the house, outside in the garden, because it's now sunny, to make sure that you can get back on that bike as quick as possible, as strong as possible, and if not, even more of a better rider. That doesn't even make sense. Get you back on that bike so you can be a stronger, fitter, better rider as soon as this is over. Mm. And the first exercise is everyone's always favorite, and that is the sit-up. Why are we doing the sit-up? Because a strong core, strong abs, will be absolutely paramount for riding. You like 360s, strong core. Back flips, strong core. Abs, sick. So we're gonna run through how to do what we call the butterfly sit-up. We're gonna run through the butterfly sit-up with you right now. Um, usually I'll use an ab mat for this, but as I'm at home, I don't have an ab mat with me. Basically an ab mat would support your, um, your lower back. You'll notice you have a curve in your lower back. Basically ab mat will support your lower back and uh, your spine, make sure you're hitting like your whole range of motion in your abs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a pillow, anything, don't get, your, don't get told off by your mum, but we're gonna nick pillows, put them behind our back and do sit-ups, okay? So any pillow you can find, ideally the smaller the better, but I've got a massive one, I've got a massive one. I've got a massive one. Because I can't find a smaller one. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna place the pillow down, right behind our bum. We're gonna put our feet in a lovely butterfly position, so both soles touching, knees splayed apart. We're gonna go back, both hands are gonna to touch the floor behind us, as we come up, reaching forward and grabbing both of our toes, making full range of motion, activating all of our abs. Like so. Basically, like I said, these uh, sit-ups are gonna help you with spins, flips, anything that's gonna involve your core, basically all of riding, really. Right, squadron, we are gonna go through another ab exercise with you. This one is gonna be focusing more on your obliques rather than your abdominal muscles down the front. This is called a Russian twist. So we are gonna sit down, lovely position like this. We get our legs slightly raised, engaging the core. And what we're gonna do, I like to use an object for this because it helps to engage more. I think it helps to focus, like make, keep you mentally more focused and engage the actual muscles. Taking the ball, touching to one side, twisting over and touching around the other side. Make sure you're reaching all the way around and you can feel the pull on your obliques. So once again. And there you have it guys. Another lovely ab exercise for you that you can do at home. Help strengthen, strengthen, help strengthen your obliques. So that's gonna help really with midline st stabilization, with spins and stuff, anything like that. A strong core basically means a strong session, so you know what I mean, boys. Yeah? Nice. We are going to run through the classic air squat, okay? So that's just squatting up and down with your body, nothing else. Feet, shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointing out. What we're going to do now is send our hips down and back. We're going to move our arms up for support and we're trying to keep a nice upright torso. What we're looking for is a full range of motion, so your hips below knees, like so. And then drive them back up, squeeze them to the top, and back down. Okay, so we're working the legs on this one. Basically, why we want to work on our legs is, when you're pedaling across that flat bottom, on your fees run, you've got to hit that jump box, hit triple whip, cranking it, you need your legs to be able to generate that power and basically doing air squats is going to like stop you getting muscle fatigue and all that kind of stuff. So when you get back to hitting your X Games runs, it's going to be ideal for you. All right team, you already know what it is. We're about to get pumped up, looking swole and flexy for all of those girl dem out there. Yeah, basically this is just going to be a press up because everyone needs press ups. Works your pecs, your delts, your triceps, basically it makes you look big and it's also good for your strength. So what we're gonna do, get your arms 
just over shoulder width apart. We don't want them too far forward, we don't want them too far apart, you know, we want a nice sturdy base on our toes. And what we're gonna do is all the way down, chest touches the floor. I don't want any half reps and none of this, okay? Chest all the way down, all the way up, locking the elbows at the top, back down, back up. You can do hand release push-ups if you want, that's where you bring your hands up, so you make sure you hit full range of motion. Once again, down, hands up, and back up like that. Trying to keep a nice, strong core on this while we're there, so we don't, don't want any sagging in the middle. We're gonna keep it nice and strong, engaging the abs, midline stabilization. Hit 100 of them a day for 30 days, and you are gonna look big. Okay, team, I am in focus, and this is the final exercise we're gonna do. Basically, it's not a strength exercise, it's more of a mobilization exercise. Called a hamstring walkout. So what we're going to do, feet shoulder width parts once again, soft knees, trying to keep them fairly rigid though, what we're going to do, bring our hands down and we're going to slowly walk them out into a press up position like so, pressing up down, all the way back up and walking our hands back in, making sure to keep our feet planted to the floor, knees soft, legs nice and straight. With this one what we're trying to do is open up our hamstrings and really just trying to loosen everything off before we start working out. So I like to do this one before I train and before I ride. Go through it again. Feet to the floor, soft knees, legs fairly straight. Walking our hands out from our toes all the way to a press up position. Back down, back up. Walking our hands in all the way to our toes and standing back up nice and straight. So what's going to do Mobilise those hamstrings and get us ready to shred. So, basically team, that is just five little movements you can do in lockdown, in quarantine, to get you through the day, get you strong, get you mobile. If you want any more fitness tips, hit the comments below, give me in the DMs, let Baz know you want more fitness videos, or if you want me to just get in the bin, ride that as well, basically. And if you aren't following me, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Oliver Jack Jones, all one word, big up.